Hi guys, Autumn here today to do my July 2020 new releases and um, my Romeo's Opoly picks. I decided that I am just going to concentrate on finishing the Moon Pack. I have 18 more challenges in the Moon Pack, um, so I'm just going to concentrate on finishing this one first and then I will go back to, or I said I... The Sun Pack, I'm sorry, the Sun Pack is what I'm concentrating on, and then I will go back to the Moon Pack after I finish the Sun Pack. Um, as I said, I have 18 more, two of which are seasonal things, so really it's only 16 more. Um, so maybe I'll just pick six, and then, yeah. I'm filming this on the 20th of June, so I am almost completely done with all of the picks that I picked for June on the Sun Pack. I do have one more, but I'm going to read that for Romance Opoly, or for Romance Athon, which is coming up the following week, so that's going to happen. Um, so maybe I'll pick six and I'll just start one today. But anyways, I only have three books that I know of that come out in um, July that I'm excited about. The first one is Southern Sunrise by Natasha Madison, and that is book four or five. I think it's four in the Southern series, and that comes out on the 7th. On the 15th, you have Bliss, which is book two in... Um, the duet from Kay Kaylee Ryan. The first one came out in June. I've not read that. Um, I'll read them um, in July. And then lastly, we have um, Heart Bones by Colleen Hoover, which comes out on the 28th. So those are the ones I know of. I'm sure there will be more, but yes. So now let's pick out my six. Well, we have, well, there's three right here. Four, five, and six. Okay. So let's see what I have. The first one is New View which is to read an enemies to lovers new adult romance. And for that, I'm going to read The Risk by L. Kennedy. That is book two in the Briar U series. Then we have The Vault, which is to read a paranormal where the author is new to you in this genre. Then we have The Office, Read a non-contemporary romance where the couple meet in their place of work, which I don't know what I'm going to read for that. And Soldier Street. Read a romantic suspense where the hero heroine is in the military. I'm going to read the second book in the Susan um, Stoker series because I have the box set of the first three. I've listened to the first one and that's Delta Force series. Um, so I'll listen to that. Then we have Library, any book, free, any book. And then we have Summer, any genre. It's just too brightly colored or multicolored. Um, has beach, sand, or sun on the cover, summer holiday read, a summary word in the title. For this, I'm going to read The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. So, but those are the six I have here, and that way I only have six more plus um, the, um, what you might call it, winter when I could do that so yes yeah, so I should be finished with the sun pack in um, August but I'll see how many of these I could read in the next 10 ish days and if I read 
a, a lot of these in the next few days. I might pick some more in the month of July, but I am participating in a few readathons for July, so I don't know how much I'm going to want to read uh, for Romanceopoly, but yes. Those are all the books I'm excited for and my t my TBR picks. Um, if you've read any of um, those I mentioned for the Romanceopoly or what are some books you're excited for in July, I'll see you guys later. Bye.